What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy Saturday everybody. So today, today we're taking a look at this. So what exactly are we looking at today, guys? Well, today we're looking at Castle Gondwin. So what this mod adds is a gigantic castle in the mountains near Riverwood. So this mod does, indu uh, does indeed include a quest, but there is a way to skip it. So when you first load into your game, a courier should come up to you and say, hey, I have a letter for you. And what it will be is it will be the quest for Castle Gondwin. But there are two options. You can either click follow the quest or skip the quest. And if you skip the quest, you just immediately have access to the fully furnished, fully fledged, fully upgraded Castle Gondwin. But if you want to do it in more of a, a slow burn way and you want to see the backstory behind Castle Gondwin, then you can do that too by following the actual quest. So what exactly is in this castle? Well, one, it can act as a player home with plenty of weapon racks and rooms and all sorts of that stuff. Mannequins, display cases, all sorts of stuff. It comes with followers, trainers, and merchants. It contains more than 40 NPCs, has customizable guard equipment, optional purchase quest, and triggered attacks, which means you can just basically have attacks on your own castle, which is kind of a neat thing. So let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? So I'm in fly mode at the moment, toggle collision mode uh, with the cheat room, but or with the, uh, the Shea Gorath's cheat menu. So why exactly am I in fly mode first? Well, honestly, because in order to get the best idea of what we're working with with this castle, you kind of have to see it from on high. So what I love about this castle, because I've done some looking around it uh, before I started the video, I love how open it is. So in most castle mods, in most home mods, you have one singular door or two sing or two two doors that access the entire castle and everything that you want to see is on the inside of the castle but this this has multiple entrances i believe it's got two or three entrances to it but most of the stuff is outside you know you've got these gigantic stone like bridges driving through the cliffs you got these big double doors that go into different parts of the into different parts of the castle and then in the castle grounds, you have the different shops. So you've got the apothecary, you've got an inn right here. You've got so many different like mercantile places or mercantile places um, that are outside, you know? It's kind of a neat thing. And it makes it feel like it's an actual castle. You know, you got the ramparts, you got the um, the archers up there. It's it's just a neat aesthetic and a neat feeling that you get from this. So enough drooling and freaking being dazed about how much how cool it looks. Let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? So it seems outside the front gate to your uh, your castle, you actually have a Khajiit caravan, which is always nice. They tend to sell some good stuff. Now let's see. As you approach the the front door, it seems you've got two guards right here. Hello there. What is it? Ah, uh, nothing. Let's go ahead and go in, shall we? Aha, so see what I'm saying? That would have been a loading screen. But now, now they're just gates. Look at how nice that is, dude. I love that. Alright, so big winding walkway right here. That's a giant mead barrel. Now let's see, what do we got right here? So this is the Castle Gondwin Watchtower. Okie dokie, so this is the Castle Gondwin Watchtower, most likely where all of the guards will sleep and uh, kind of participate in the defense of Castle Gondwin. Kind of dark through here, but that's okay. Kind of a neat little spot, too. It's fairly cozy for it being a watchtower, you know? But it seems you can actually climb all the way up to the watchtower. Yes, indeed, you can. And it almost looks as if it goes higher. Okay, yeah, I'm on top of it. Nice! So I believe that's going to be the same for each and every single one of the watchtowers. And that door that we saw before we went up into the trap door, that was most likely this door, where you can walk across the ramparts and come down into this part. Now, I will say this, you could probably get pretty lost in this place if you don't know your way around it. So if I get lost, I apologize about that. Okie dokie, so now we're on top of this watchtower. Pretty nifty. Now let's see... We can go ahead and plop down here. I'm in god mode, so I shouldn't die. There we go. Now that's kind of cool, too. You've got kind of the signpost right here letting you know where to go. Also, I totally forgot to show you where the hell it was at. I'm sorry. So Riverwood is right here. And the, uh, that's a mod. <laughs> so Riverwood is right here. We got the Ember Shard Mine, Guardian Stones, South Skybound Watch, and we got Orphan Rock. And then Castle Gondwin is right there. So pretty easy to find. 
Now let's see, what goes through here? Pull chain? Where does this go? Open gate. Now see, look at how neat this is. Let's see, what is this right here? This is the stable, where you can buy yourself a horse, it seems. And then let's see, what do we got right here? This looks like a mine. It is indeed. Worker's house, and you have your own mine. Castle Gondwin Mine, nice! Now, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I won't go into every single room and every single door because that takes out some of the exploration that you should do on your own time if you decide to download this mod, but it seems this is another entrance that has a drawbridge. Check this out. That's kind of crazy. Okie dokie, now let's see. This seems like it would might, might be a mill. Oh no, it's a cavern. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's see. This is kind of like the stable area, the mine area over there. What do we got over here? That's where we just came from. This is... Let's see, this is the blacksmith area. Ooh, check this out. So you have your own blacksmith kind of merchant. And the traveler's guard. Very, very neat. Man, this is straight up just like owning your own freaking castle. There is so much stuff here. What's this? This is the castle apothecary. And this is the last drink in. Very, very cool. So you could definitely participate in kind of the economy of what's going on what here at mean? Castle Gondwin. Kind of really cool, actually. Hello there, Mr. Archer. Oh, this is a follower. His name is Gareth. Nice. Such a beautiful little spot here, dude. Oh my god. This honestly reminds me of what you would see in Game of Thrones. That's just what I... That's the vibe I get from this. Now let's see. What goes down through here? More ramparts, it seems? Yes, indeed. Very, very cool. Okay. Very, very cool. Now let's see. What else is up here? I saw another walkway that goes up this way. And look at that. You got Bleak, Wind, or, um, Bleak Falls Barrow. We got a view of that. That's pretty nifty. Alright, let's see. What is this? The Last Drink Inn has two entrances. Wood shopping block here. Kind of separated from all the other stuff, but maybe there's another one somewhere else. Alright, now let's see. That's the last drink in. Last... Yeah, that one. <laughs> now, let's see. It seems... Wait, what's this? That's the apothecary. Okay, two entrances. Nice. Now, it seems as if that is the actual castle right there. Perhaps. Maybe this is like the... The throne room or something? Let's see what this is. Aha, the throne hall. Well, hello there, freaking throne room hall. Very, very nice. What is this thing? Is this just kind of decoration? It seems, probably. Now let's see. Staying what do we got through way? here? Aha, my throne! My royal freaking throne. Look at this. Can go ahead and sit on it in my rags. <laughs> nice! Oh, and I just turned all the way around. Okay, I guess I'm an owl now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So like I said, I won't be going around to each and every single one of the uh, of the rooms and the doors and stuff like that because like I said, there's a ton of stuff to see in this mod and uh, this mod video would probably be about two hours long. So that's I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I just want to showcase the beauty and the size and the scale and all of that stuff of this castle. Whoa, did you hear that? That dude's voice was echoing in this hall. And that dog bark was. That's cool. Holy Jesus, this castle is freaking huge. Aha, the Lord's Chambers. Okie dokie then, so this is the Lord's Chambers. Hello there. Now is this like my chamber? Or is it the Lord's of the- oh my. Holy God. Look at this. Holy freaking library. Oh my God. That's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. Holy Jesus, what is this? Let's see. What goes through these rooms? Oh my god, there's a dog in here. Hello! Rex, what you doing there, big guy? Okay, so there is a lot to explore in this castle, dude. Oh my god. This is basically like having your own, um, what is it? The King's Palace. Like, not even kidding. Like, the, the palace that is in Windhelm, this is basically like having your own version of it. Because that's what the inside of this is modeled after. And it certainly, it certainly models the size of the freaking, uh, King's Palace. Pretty dang well. Holy freaking Jesus, dude. There is so much storage for so many different things. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Okay, so yeah. Uh, there is a lot to this castle. Holy freaking hell. And there's probably secret passageways if I had to guess. Oh my god. There's probably so much freaking stuff in here. Open reinforced door. What? The oh my god. Have a vault. Holy Jesus. Okay, so that's kind of crazy. 
Oh my god. So you have your own massive freaking vault filled to the brim with gold and gold ingots. All of that stuff. Look at this. Got the That's the crown of Baron Zaya. Dang, dude. Okay. Okay. I gotcha. So if you've ever wanted to live like a freaking king or queen, uh, this is definitely for you. I mean, I'm in, I'm impressed at the scale and the scope and just the sheer size of this freaking castle. There are so many doors. Oh my god. <laughs> there are five doors right here. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth one? Maybe there were just four. But even still, four doors within like a hundred feet of each other? Holy freaking Jesus. Now what goes up through here? That's the guest wing. Okay, so we don't want to get too enthralled in that. Let's see. Let's go back out into the actual castle grounds and see if I missed anything. Okie dokie. So let's see. What goes up through here? I don't... This doesn't look very familiar. What is this? The That's the barracks. Very cool. What was his name? Ragnar? <laughs> Captain Ragnar. Nice. Now what is this? That's one of the... That's the gatehouse? Very, very cool. Okay, so yeah, like I said, if you've ever wanted to own your own freaking, like, um, Whiterun Castle or uh, Dragon's Reach, or actually, no, you know what? It's even freaking bigger than Dragon's Reach, dude. There is so much to this place, it's not even funny. And it's it's not doable in one freaking uh, showcase video. So, guys, I would definitely suggest downloading downloading this mod. If one, you're a fan of giant castles, two, you're a fan of getting immersed in owning your own freaking castle, and three, have a lot of time to kill, <laughs> because you're going to be exploring this castle for quite a long freaking time. So, I highly recommend this, guys. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's mod showcase right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little mod showcase. In fact, it was a big mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And guys, I will see you in the next video.